today's battlefield, speed is of the essence to keep U.S. soldiers out of harm's way. In the past, it used to take several weeks to set up a contingency airstrip in a war zone to get the supplies and troops on the ground. Now research is underway to help cut that time down to a matter of days. Javier Hernandez shows us how. Rapid deployment to the theater is vital for force projection to overwhelm the enemy. Today's construction techniques require too much time to transport heavy equipment, survey a site, and then construct a contingency airfield. Researchers at Erdic are working to drastically cut construction time through the Joint Rapid Airfield Construction Program, or JRAC. The Joint Rapid Airfield Construction is based on light equipment technologies, uh, new technologies that will allow us to do the same thing with air deployable equipment and troops and to uh, establish that construction timeline in hours and days instead of weeks or months. In a field test at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, soldiers built two aprons to an airstrip using the new technology. In only 75 hours, a C-130 was doing 360 turns on one of the aprons. They were very impressed. Start to completion, logistics included, have a functional airfield and then pass it off to Navy, Air Force and Marine components with uh, lat long grid coordinates that they can walk right up to with a GPS. The JRAC site survey and construction machinery is equipped with sampling equipment and GPS so it can determine soil type and topography, create digital designs for the contingency airfield and physically move the earth. A major advantage is doing rapid soil analysis with onboard computers to determine stabilization techniques. In order to be able to support the weight of the aircraft, you've got to have the proper soil properties to be able to get that stability or that strength in the soil to be able to, to support that aircraft without having to do serious maintenance on the soil on a regular basis. Engineers can use fibers, plastic polymers, and cement to build up soil strength in desert, polar, and even wet regions. JRAC will need only 10 to 12 soldiers to do what today takes 30 or more. And it'll take far less time. Javier Hernandez, Erdic Labs, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Parts of the research have already been used in Afghanistan. Erdic hopes the Army will feel the entire program by 2010.